Good morning, it's 25 past nine on Sunday. I've woken up feeling like I've got a clearer chest. I've done a little bit of hoovering, not much. I've wiped the surfaces down in here, cleaned the stove a bit, that sort of thing. I'm making some coffee now. I'm expecting an Iceland delivery to come between 10 and 12, so I suppose I should probably put something on other than my pyjamas to open the door. It's about half an hour later now. I rang my boyfriend. I've been on the phone to my boyfriend for half an hour. I've got a habit of pacing when I'm on the phone in the house. I can't sit still. And I realised I was doing it quite energetically. <laughs> So I am feeling better. I, I, I'm getting my energy back this morning. Fingers crossed. I've had one coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> and uh, Iceland man hasn't come and I'm still in my pyjamas. Oh well, but I'm feeling quite good, yeah. I did quite a lot of coughing on the phone once I got talking animatedly. Uh, but I seem to have got that out of my system now, so that's good. Yeah. Fingers crossed for a, a better day. It's very windy today. I've got all the windows open as I have been and um, I can literally feel a draft. It's it's kind of stopping a bit now. The flame on the uh, the coffee pot's been going because <laughs> like the wind's been blowing it sideways. But I have to shut the window. It seems to be um, all right at the moment though. And there was like a bird trying to fly past. It was like this. <laughs> it's going all over the place in the sky. But uh, yeah, it seems to have flown off somewhere now. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Your girls actually got dressed today. Oh my goodness, first time I've been in clothes and pyjamas for about 11 days. I've also decided I never want to wear tight leggings again. So these are going in the charity bag. Look at all this stuff Izzy's getting rid of. One full bag there. I've gone through that and approved it. This I need to go through and approve just in case there's stuff I don't want her to get rid of. For example, my own childhood books that she doesn't realise were mine, that sort of thing. Anyway, they can go in that pile. This is stuff that probably I'll want to keep and just reintegrate into the household somehow, but she didn't want it in her room. It's 20 past 11 and the Iceland fan is still not here, but I am feeling the best I have felt in so long now. I'm really, oh, I'm excited and happy. I've just got this big burst of happiness and excitement coming through me. Just to feel, I don't know, connected with myself again, I suppose. Does that sound, I don't know if that sounds a bit wishy-washy. Anyway. I'm so happy. I'm definitely going to try and get out and have a walk in the fresh air today. I'm just going to quickly do a daily LFT. I mean, I don't need to test anymore because it's day 11 now, but I'm going to do one anyway. The Iceland delivery just turned up as well, so this has been sitting in this tube an extra minute. I don't suppose that makes a difference. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Oh, yeah, start that off. Up it goes. There's a line. There is a line. It wasn't a lot. Right, I'm confused. <gasps> oh, maybe it's negative. Look, 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 there's no line. At the moment, one exactly one minute in, there is no line. Oh, we'll come back and have a look in a minute. Oh, I'm so happy for that. Oh, or is there, no, I don't think, so. mm, we'll look in a minute. <laughs> it, when it's still pink, uh, you can't always see it as clearly, can you? Oh, please be... Yeah, that would make me so happy, honestly. Because I've been at this point now the last few days where it might be okay. But because it's been reading positive still, it's called, you know, it's caused me to doubt it and still want to err on the side of caution. But yesterday, to be honest, I was too ill to go out anyway still. But I mean, I am feeling, oh, so much better today. Anyway, the shopping's here. Oh, and there's a faint line coming. But it's faint. That's definitely on the wane compared to yesterday. Anyway, the shopping's currently <laughs> in various parts of the downstairs. There's one bag there, loads of frozen things. Oh my gosh, I didn't really think clearly about how I was going to fit all this in the freezer, did I? Oh dear. Well, a lot of the ready meals will stay out anyway and just be eaten. There's a bag there and some by here. I've laid my frozen things out and put the prices on. I'm always getting requests to put the prices on things. So these were three for £10. They're tuna steaks to go in the freezer. I prefer the fresh, honestly. But of all the frozen, we like the tuna the best and Izzy up absolutely loves it. Um, going more vegetarian now, these are mushroom steaks, I think they're vegan. £2.25 for two, so a bit pricey, that's a pricey treat, same as this, a pricey treat, £2.25 for two completely vegan burgers. Not vegan, £1.65 for the crispy batter fish fingers, which I really fancied when I was doing this yesterday. Only £1 for sweet corn, I haven't had this for ages, but just suddenly fancied it. I remembered how much I like it in a sort of biryani type dish with lots of rice. Again, £1 for frozen sliced mushrooms, because when I run out of those 
fresh ones. I just have to have some sort of mushroom. <laughs> Moving over here now, these are a pound each. One pound, one pound. Vegetable lasagna, spaghetti bolognese. I'm feeling so well now that I don't think I'm gonna need these ready meals, but at the time of ordering, I was feeling poorly. So, but anyway, I've got them now. They'll have to go in the fridge because there's no room in the freezer for them. Uh, Izzy really was craving carbonara and the other sort of carbonara-y type of things for the lower price they had lemon juice in so I had to not get them because she's allergic so I got the expensive ones but they were on offer two for six pounds so I thought hmm in that case I'll have one of the same brand to get the multi buy so I've gone for a cannelloni with spinach and ricotta and I don't know I was on one I got a for two pound fifty a prawn buna as well for me I have got these for Izzy and I might have the odd one strawberry and vanilla cones one pound for six for two pound fifty stuffed crust pizza is he did say she'd gone off pizza but i'm sure she hasn't had any for ages so i think we'll have that for lunch today two pound fifty for frozen strawberries and looking at them they're flipping massive but izzy requested them so i think they're more for izzy than me because they're just going to be frozen solid in my yogurt they're too big but these on the other hand pomegranate seeds i've never had before also two pound fifty so i wanted to try them in my yogurts in the morning because I think the smaller they are the more they melt by the time you eat them so that's a good thing in my opinion wish me luck now trying to get that lot away I do not honestly know how I got that lot in but I did apart from those but they're just gonna have to go in the fridge and be eaten here are the fresh things so these cheeses were on three for five pounds so I got two Leodama originals and one Mexicana look it's all infused with yummy spicy tasty things including chili <laughs> so looking forward to those I paid a bit more to have the free range version of this. It's a Greek style natural yogurt with bio thingies in, made with bio cultures. So it was a bit dearer, it's £2.59, but I still think it's good value for the amount you get. I paid £1 for the strawberry yogurt. What I'm tending to do is I'm dishing out like two thirds of that and one third of that, like a flavoured sweetened yogurt. And I like that mild sweet flavour there. That's my latest fad with my morning yogurts. I haven't had my breakfast yet today actually. £1 for mushrooms. 89p for broccoli. They should have been courgettes, but they obviously didn't have them in stock. On to Big Evie drinks now, which I've been bulk buying as I always do when I do an online shop. To be honest, we still got most of that Coke left, but what we've been doing is we've been drinking the caffeine-free ones. We've only got a couple left of those Fanta that I got the other day. It's because we're only having about one can a day anyway. I must admit I did add two on a couple of days because I wanted comfort. <laughs> but anyway, um, we tend to have one a day. And when it gets past a certain time of day, we don't want a caffeinated one because it'll keep us awake all night. So we tend to go for the, the non-caffeine one. So I'm just thinking, why don't I just get way more of those? than the cokes there's 24 in there that was eight pounds so it works out at 33 pence a can and I really wanted to try this and i thought it was just cherry i didn't realize it was lemon and lime so i'm not sure if izzy will get on well with those with her skin but anyway they were two pound for six which still works out exactly the same price per can 33p as those great big enormous ones so bulk buying doesn't make it cheaper in that case the vimtos were on uh, multi-buy so they would normally be three pound for a big bottle like that for three litres however it was two for five pound fifty so i saved 50p so that's why i've got two i don't mind storing it as you can see the wine rack comes in very handy when i've been bulk buying liquid items here's the last lot of stuff that i got two boxes of special case it was on multi-buy it would normally be three pound but for the two it was five pounds so i saved one pound by getting two izzy's favorite cereal that is i got these par baked crusty bread rolls they were 125 for six now the date on here is august the 14th so it's, uh, it's coming towards the end of June now as I film this. So it's got a really good date on it. I like to be spontaneous. The thing is with me is I rarely plan ahead what I'm going to cook. I like to decide spontaneously. So the way I tend to do things is just stop my cupboards up with things that enables me to make spontaneous decisions about what to cook for dinner, depending on my mood. And sometimes I think, oh, I know, let's use all the veggies up and make a soup and let's have some crusty bread rolls with it. Well, I don't have to go shopping for fresh crusty bread rolls if I've got these in the cupboard because I can just put them in the oven. And there we are. So that's the rationale behind that and also if Izzy needs to make a packed lunch without any warning she can just do bread late at night you know and oh my guilty pleasure hot noodles I succumbed to the multi-buy so these were five for three pound and they would have been 70 pence each but they worked out at 60 pence each so as you can see I saved 50p <laughs> except I didn't because I shouldn't have just bought them in the first place because I don't need them but they are nice <coughs> It's five past twelve now. I haven't quite finished getting my vlog up for tonight, so I'm going to go and work on that. It's about ten to one now. 
I have just invested in myself and my daughter and my dad. I'm not sure if dad wants to be invested in, but I've included him anyway. I've just upgraded to Duolingo family plan and yeah, it is £89 a year out. But to be honest, I just spent 120 on a Spanish course for five mornings. So I will get a lot more out of it than that, I'm sure. So really excited. So Izzy is on Duolingo every single day learning Korean because she really likes the pop songs from Korea. So she wants to understand the language more, to be more, get to grips with that. And you know, funnily enough, I don't think Izzy even knows this, but my mum, hello mummy, mummy watches, <laughs> my mum learned German for years because she so loved the German leader, the songs that she used to listen to in German and she loved them so much that it inspired her to learn German um, and obviously I'm doing two languages on Geolingo now and I definitely want to keep up with that daily so um, it's just going to be a much more pleasant smoother experience and I think we're going to learn quicker as well because you're limited with how many mistakes you can make in a day on Duolingo um, like the normal one so we can make as many mistakes as we like and you have to like get points like these gems before you can do these four tests at the end of every level to progress on to the next level and if you uh, you have to spend is it 100 gems <laughs> every time to do these tests and if you don't get it you use all your gems up and you've got to go and practice for ages and ages again to build them up and if you're like me and Izzy you just make stupid mistakes which I call the dyslexic -y mistakes like I might see that like the word hotel is there and then I write hospital because I've misread it and it's not a mistake with the language it's a matter of interpretation so for people like me like I'm using up all my hearts really quickly it's so frustrating um anyway I'm gonna have some breakfast now I haven't even had breakfast oh I got my vlog up by the way so that's done yay I feel like I've achieved stuff today I'm feeling really 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 pleased I am definitely starting to feel unwell again so i definitely feel like i need to do some city downy stuff now so i am going to i'm gonna have my breakfast and do some of that language learning on duolingo without having ads every five minutes do you know what i've decided we're having pizza <laughs> i'm gonna have it for my breakfast and izzy can have it for her lunch i've done my brazilian portuguese and spanish for the day 10 minutes on each i'm about to put this in the oven well i wanted to show you you know i naughtily cut my baking sheet in half well it fits on this square tray better now because I can overlap it and make it fit exactly. Yay! Ready to go in. This is my favourite brand of pizza. And I hit 5,000 subs last night for the first time. And I wanted to thank you all for your support. It really means so much to me. I would love to do this for a career full time. I'm not even joking. I absolutely love making videos. I have had the most fun since I started this YouTube channel about, it must be getting on for six years ago now. But honestly, I've never had so much fun in my whole life. I absolutely love it. And I appreciate you all so much for coming back and watching the videos. Here's to the next 5,000. I'm sure I'll have just as much fun again. It's official, Ferdinand is dead. So I'm chopping him up with some secateurs and I'm gonna put him in the compost. These secateurs are completely rusty and blunt, but I just remembered I bought new ones last summer. Take two. I bought these secateurs for going walking once the brambles overgrow across all oh, the path. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Oh, mind you, it's a bit thick, that one. Oh, no, it still did it. Yay! Stuff like this is incredibly therapeutic, isn't it? And I don't do enough of this sort of thing. Oh, yeah. The pizza's ready. It's hours later now, and I realised I forgot to properly show you that once it had, you know, cleared a bit. So, yeah, it's still positive. But anyway, I am technically allowed out, so I did go out for a little walk just in the fresh air in the very local area. I didn't film it. I did have a bit of a crash. I had a really good innings. I got loads done this morning, and I was feeling buoyant and jubilant. Once I sat down and the sort of bit of adrenaline wore off, that's when I had a big crash, but I expected it to be honest and accepted it. And I did like two hours of Portuguese study and I was very happy indeed. Thank you very much doing that. <laughs> I nearly took a paracetamol because I had a, the most bangingest headache and everything. But this COVID, like my version of it, like you get a headache and you think, oh my goodness, that's terrible. And then boop, it's just gone again. And then you get an earache and then, you know, 30 seconds later, it's just gone again. <laughs> and then you get a pain in your foot and then that disappears. It's just really really extraordinary anyway that's pretty much what i've done oh and i've edited everything i've done today of this video so i don't know that took me an hour or something like that as well so that's how i've been spending this afternoon what time is it now oh i've got my glasses on and these are my reading glasses oh, there's a clock over there it's 20 to 7 
<laughs> I've got them off because they're so flipping reflective, it drives me mad um, when I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty optimistic that I'm going to have a good day tomorrow. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it? It helps the channel to grow and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!